It go short days, long nights. We be gone to the month. Yeah, they love it. All lies on me when I put it on. Hallways, porch lights. Gotta keep the evil off. Oh me, oh my. I just be like, who be gone? Ten, send a fifth. We don't. Didn't need a glow, cause we always been the cool guys. Beach tent, cooler with the drinks and the blue skies. Ray fans, fuck it low like F it though it's some. Thing is on my little betty and she nasty yeah that girl is on my hey hey it's all mine yeah that thing is on mine turn it to a woman operation yeah in no time hey went from middle class to up again now we live in luxury palm angels up on my truck a high school it was burberry shout out to my peoples through it dog man he stuck with me she keep calling me a keeper it won't be another me hey I your soul we be heavy on it off the huh off the what i be daddy off it hey, I your soul, we be heavy on it. Off the, uh, off the, uh, I was dead in it. It short days, long nights, we be gone to the morn. Yeah, they love it, all lies on me when I put it on. Hallways, porch lights, gotta keep the evil off. Oh me, oh my, I just be like, we'll be gone. Ten, send a fifth, we don't, didn't need a glow, cause we always been the cool guys. Beach tent, cooler with the drinks and the blue skies. Rave fans, fuck it low like F it though it's all they mine. Grab a bow, Yo guys, welcome back. Hopefully you enjoyed that little workout at the beginning of the video. This video is going to be different to all my other videos. This is sort of an educational video. So it's me talking about how I grew my arms basically, talking about my personal experience, what's worked best for me, what I'd recommend. So when I first started working out, this is what I was looking like and this is what my arms were looking like. As you can see, nothing special, just like everyone else when they first start working out. So when I first started working out, my arms were like 12 inches and I've measured them recently and they are just over 15. So I'm gonna start off with the exercises that I'd recommend to grow your arms. Number one is just the standard barbell curl. Now this one is pretty simple. You just wanna start off, hold the barbell, supinated grip, and just curl the bar. Now, for the standard bicep curl, I would recommend implementing progressive overload. So every session, you're trying to increase the weight or trying to increase the reps. Because over time, if you keep doing the same weight for the same reps, the muscles will get used to that weight those reps and they'll need a greater stimulus to react to in order to grow so if you increase the weight your muscles will react more and they'll grow bigger also one thing i will say try to keep the reps fairly strict however in my opinion you can cheat the curl a little bit so if you're getting towards the end of a set and you're struggling a bit you can swing the weight to fatigue your muscles more because in those last few reps, that is where your muscles grow. And if you can really push and fatigue the muscles, they'll grow bigger. Exercise two is an interesting one that's just worked for me personally. Using a barbell curl or an easy bar curl with a pronated grip. What that does is because it's pronated, it will target the brachialis, which gives a wider look to your bicep. I appreciate they're not for everyone. Like a lot of people I talk to, they just hate them. But for me, I've been trying it for a while. And yeah, after a set, after I've got a good pump with them, I definitely feel like my biceps feel wider so yeah with these normally i do like two sets of the normal supinated grip barbell curls and then i'll do a set or two of the pronated grip curls so yeah that's my second exercise that i love to do okay so this third exercise is probably the most common one that i do and that is seated dumbbell curls so you can adjust the bench at whatever degree you want but with a lightweight really strict form control it as much as possible and yeah you really feel the pump on that one another exercise that i've just started to do is preacher curls with an easy bar. The pump on this one is insane. I really recommend preacher curls, but be careful with the preacher curls because you don't want to fully extend all the way because there's risk that you'll pull something in your bicep. So just go sort of part, part of the way down, do not fully extend and then bring it back up and really contract at the top because that is where you get your pump. And lastly for the biceps, I recommend cable bicep curls with the ropes. Again, because of the ropes, you're in that neutral grip. That too will target the brachialis, wider bicep. And also when you get to the top, you can do a little twist if you want, and that will just target everything basically. So it's, that's a very good one. Okay, so that's biceps done. Let's move on to triceps. So with triceps, the number one thing that I always do is cable pull downs. For me, cables, 
they're the best thing for your triceps. I recommend eight to 12 reps, just because I feel like there's an increased risk the higher weight you go. Like you don't need to ego lift when it comes to arms. The lighter you go, the more reps you can do, the more fatigued your muscles will become, the bigger the burn, the bigger the pump. You get all the good stuff from doing lighter weight with arms. Another thing that I love for triceps is tricep dip machine. Just because I feel like free weight tricep dips, they just put too much pressure on my shoulders and like my chest. So it's just a personal preference for me that I do it on a machine, but it still targets the same things and you still get a killer burn from it. Another thing that I love for triceps, get a single dumbbell, quite lightweight, and just over your head like that until failure. I'm not sure what they're called, they're like skull crusher type things. But um, yeah, free weight dumbbells like that. Another variation on that is is uh, like cable raises behind your head with the cable machine. The cables for your arms, for me, it might be the best thing in my opinion. So for triceps, cable pull downs with the ropes, free weight dumbbell overhead raises, tricep dips or tricep dip machine, and then tricep cables. Now the last thing I've done to grow my arms it might be my favorite thing is the shoulders. If you've got those delts, they make you just look wider. So for me, what I'm always doing every single upper body session is dumbbell lateral raises. Without fail, I'm always doing them. Targeting that mid delt, just make you look wide as possible. I'll superset the mid delt flies with front delt flies to target the front delt. And then what I also do for shoulders is I use a seated overhead press machine. I do seated because for me personally, barbell or dumbbell overhead press, it's just too risky for me. Like I'm really concerned about like doing my rotator cuffs in or just, just hurting my arms in some way. So if it's in a machine, I can really control the weight and it feels a lot safer for me, a lot more secure. And honestly, I think these exercises are working for me. Like my arms aren't that big, but considering where I've come from, I feel like they're all right. Obviously, with every single one of these exercises I've mentioned, you want to try and be incorporating progressive overload as much as possible. For me, anything to do with arms, 8 to 12 reps ideally, with a maximum of 15. For me personally, that's what's worked for me. Because when you're doing that 15 reps, you get a massive pump. And for me, pump is very important. So I hope this video has been helpful. Hopefully you guys will try some of the exercises that I've used. Yes, again, this is just personal for me and what I've been doing and what has worked best for me in the past. So yeah, hope you guys found this useful. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Take care. Peace.